Like I am straight up in love with it. Uh, it's, it's about my size. It's all over print. It's, um, made in the USA. Are you, are you ready? If you're not sitting down, you better sit down. Check this out. What's going on, everybody? This is Scott, also known as Chichin King, and I'm coming to you today. I had, uh, to talk about some incredible finds I had today. And I had no intention whatsoever of shooting a video today. I, I haven't done my makeup or anything. But this stuff is so awesome that I just needed to. So these two bags are from an estate sale that I went to today in Temple. And I spent a whopping total of $36. And there's a couple of things I want to show you. But if you will stick around till the end, I'm also going to show you... Um, Something that's unrelated to this haul, but kind of give you an example of exactly what dry rot looks like in a t-shirt. But before we get to the dry rot, let's talk about the stuff that isn't dry rotted. So, um, I, I've, I've shared with it before, uh, part of what we do is I take Melody back and forth to, to Temple. Uh, she helps with her parents. And uh, I like to go on Thursdays because a lot of times there's an estate sale. And today was uh, there was a good one. It didn't look like much. We do a lot with vintage clothes, and if this is your first time on the channel, uh, Melody and I um, buy things at garage sales and estate sales and uh, flea markets and, and all different kinds of thrift stores and Goodwills, and, and then we resell those things online for a profit, and, and I make <laughs> YouTube videos about it. This particular sale didn't look outstanding. Uh, it was um, a newer home, there wasn't much in the pictures, and um, everything looked pretty expensive from the prices that we could see. But I was already there. I was already in Temple. So I did stop by, and um, in the closet, in the women's uh, closet, because uh, there weren't a whole lot of men's clothes, but in the women's closet in the very back were some old clothes that obviously made the move with them. The clothes were much older than the home. So let me show you a few of them. Like I said, a grand total of $36. So let me show you what I got. This is a Christian uh, style shirt, and it kind of reminded me of the, um, I can't even think of the name of it, the uh, Masters of the Universe t-shirts. It's made in the USA. It's single stitch, and don't know if you can see it, but that one was two bucks. It is definitely not the craziest find. This next one... Like, I am straight up in love with it. Uh, it's it's about my size. It's all over print. It's um, made in the USA. Are you, are you ready? If you're not sitting down, you better sit down. Check this out. Bam! Are you kidding me? It is um, from the... See if I can get that over there for you. National Wildlife Federation. It's got the faux uh, second shirt. And then check out the back of it. <laughs> what? <laughs> With the bald eagles on it. Big bald eagle in the front. All over print. And, and if that wasn't enough, it has pockets. It's got hand warmer pockets on it. And I don't think it's ever been worn. So that piece, I think, I think the price tag came off. That piece was $5. The next one was the most expensive thing I picked up. I, it's not the highest profit item, but it's one that it's really easy for me to flip. It's a brand you should know. This is a men's vest. And this company, the company is Wallmaker. And what they are known for, they do a lot of kind of reproduction style clothes for even all the way up to reenactment style clothing. I paid $10 for that piece. Um, it'll probably sell for between 30 and 40. Great shape. Um, and again, there's no way I lose on it. I'm going to save the, the bangers for the last one. I got two of these. These are simple flips, but I may keep them. Like, I mean, I can actually use these. I don't know about your house. We never have pillowcases. I don't know what happens to them, but they always disappear. But check out these vintage ones. 
<laughs> Ralph Lauren Polo USA. That's pretty cool. I got a pair of those. The pair was five dollars. It looks like online they're thirty to forty. But again, I'm not. I'm not sure I'm going to sell that. It's only going to get better. The next one that I'm going to show you is an absolute Bolo brand for you to know. I paid four dollars. I paid four dollars. Four. Four dollars for used insoles. And let me tell you why. Um, these are by the brand Nikon, I think is how it's pronounced. And they are magnetic insoles. If you find these new, they can be anywhere from $50 to $150. That brand is often marketed to, to older people for to help with pain. The, the, I, I don't know. I have no clue if it works or not. But I do know it sells. And I have found several products from Nikon. It's one of the things that you look for at estate sales. Because at an estate sale, that's who these are targeted towards. So a lot of times, check that bathroom. Check the countertops. And look for that brand. A lot of times, you'll see it. It's uh, still new and in the package. And then it goes for a whole lot of money. Okay. Whew. I was so excited. Like... You never know when you go to an estate sale whether or not it's going to pan out, whether or not you're going to find anything. And it did. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> the, uh, this is West Point for those of you that don't know. There are a couple of things to look for. Do you see the difference in the pattern there on the side of the sweatshirt? That is what... Uh, the, the patent name on it was Reverse Weave by Champion. And here is one of the tags. This is what it looks like. And if you look at it carefully, it says Reverse Weave right on there. And that's what that looks like. Back doesn't have anything. And this is actually an incredible condition for this era I would I'm gonna I'll look it up before I commit to it but I think this is 60s uh, there are a couple of other things I can do to help date it this one has a name in it and uh, a lot of times with West Point you can look at their cadets and try and if it's an unusual enough name you can date it that way but I can date it from the tags too and then the second one because one uh, reverse weave in a closet is not enough. This one had two. And this is the better one. Mainly because this one says the, the physical education on it. The tag is a different color, but it is the same type of tag, the reverse weave. And uh, again, really, really nice condition for the age. Um, in fact, the only downside to, to either one of these is that they're a medium and the bigger, the better, but, uh, they're not a small. <laughs> so I would guess that the other one should go for somewhere between hundred and 200. And this one, I, I will probably price it closer to 300. So a total of $36 into a mountain of money and more importantly, just had a tremendous time. So um, if you'll hang on just one minute, I'm going to grab a different piece. This is a super cool shirt I picked up. I believe I got this one at the bins. It's not a special tag. So what was cool about it, the reason that I grabbed the shirt, is that it's glow in the dark. And so it didn't look like it had hardly ever been worn. When I washed it, I noticed a fine black powder uh, in the washer. And that's a telltale sign that something was wrong. I had washed a bunch of black t-shirts when I washed this one. but So, when you look at it like this, you don't really notice anything. But let me show you what dry rot does. Because this would have been a $40 or $50 shirt. And also, what I, what I would strongly recommend 
If you want to know more about t-shirts and what to look for, Ryan with Rally Root does a much, much better job of explaining this than I do. He's got a, he has a tremendous amount of experience with t-shirts, far, far more than I do. And uh, he and I talked one day, and, and what he told me is, is that the dyes that they used in some of these vintage t-shirts contained a lot of sulfur. And the sulfur, over time, if not washed out of the shirt, will break down the cotton. And so what happens is, is the nicest looking shirts are going to be the very ones that the, the structure is broken down. So anyway, you see the shirt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just this, just like this, and I'm going to hold it up to the camera, and I'm just going to pull it gently apart. Are you ready? Just like that. It tears so easily that the structure is just gone. And so dry rot is a real thing. You don't run into it a lot, but you will run into it. And for me, it's been mostly on the black t-shirts. And so just keep your eyes open for it. What Ryan recommends is that if you go to the end, <laughs> you can tell that I have tested this several times, but if you'll go down here inside that little part right there, you can test it right there. And I mean, this one just comes off in, in just chunks. Like, like there's, I mean, just you can just tear it apart. So I saved the shirt just to show you what dry rot looks like. Um, but I don't want that to cloud the fact that I straight up killed it today with the two uh, Champion Reverse Weave sweatshirts from West Point. Super excited. All of the stuff I got today were just crazy good finds. And um, <laughs> that's about all I have. If you haven't done so, I would really appreciate it if you would like the video. And, and I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel. One of the things we're going to be talking about in the next few weeks is when is it time to quit your job and move into reselling full-time? Because I have some pretty strong opinions about that. So that's pretty much it for me. Um, I had a great day. If you've ever found uh, a champion reverse weave, post in the comments down below. I would love to hear the stories. I haven't found a lot of them. But I found a few, and every time I'm excited. The last one I got was from a high school, but it had a great graphic on it. And it was at an estate sale, but it wasn't in the closet. It was in the mud out by the barn. <laughs> and I pulled it out, and she said I could buy it for two bucks. And I took it home and washed it and sold it for like 75 So if you've ever found one, post in the comments below and tell me about it. And that's it for me. I really appreciate you tuning in to my video. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.